Presented by Cruise Financial Group. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Wentz with another edition of Money Matters with Joe Cruz at Cruise Financial Group in Dakota Dunes, South Dakota. You know, every year it seems like there's a couple of financial pieces of legislation that Congress enacts, and usually yep. the president signs. And this year we're hearing more about what is called the Secure 2.0 Act of 2022, which took effect this year. And, and Joe, would you explain to us just exactly some of the basics of what this yeah. Secure 2.0 Act is? Well, like anything in Congress, it's a big bill with a lot of stuff in it. And uh, it was signed in uh, uh, December 29th of 2022, became effective January 1st. And what, what the Secure 2.0 does, basically it was a bipartisan effort to get people to save more for retirement and allow them to uh, make it easier for them to save, but also uh, let them save more. And then when you hear bipartisan in Congress, that's a, like a unicorn, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. So, but So how does it make it easier for us to save? Well, a couple of the big things that are in it, it, it I think worth pointing out is normally with when someone has a 401k at work, you choose to get in or, or choose not to, right? Uh, in 2.0, there's a provision there that says if you work at a, a company that starts a brand new plan after uh, December 29th of 2022, once you start working there, you're automatically enrolled in the 401k at 3%. So they're going to hold that out of your check. Whether So you got to opt out instead of opting in. Uh -huh. and, and so what they do is in that provision is they're going to hold 3% of your check and they're going to increase it 1% a year all the way until it gets to 10% unless you tell them otherwise. And then so that it, I guess that encourages or kind of a little bit forces someone to get in to start saving for retirement, which Congress wants, of course. Yeah, which may not be necessarily such a bad thing. Right, right. And... Uh, and a couple other things in there that, that was uh, changed is they changed the required minimum distribution. No, it used to be this uh, past year, the required min minimum distribution out of a 401k at age 72, you had to start taking distributions. That's raised to 73 in this bill. Oh, okay. All and, right. and then 10 years from now, in January 1st, I think it's 2033, it's, it's going to go up to age 75. So oh they're, they're raising that as well. So well, there's two big provisions. Yeah, always, always big changes in the financial world. And if you want more information on the Secure 2.0 Act or anything else, Joe and the folks at Cruise Financial Group and Dakota Dunes, they're the folks to give a contact to. And we'll see you back here again next week.